from the factory 224, all uh, done up, YK inspect, MRE. Hey, what's up guys? Back again. This time we're talking about the engines of YKN. Walk you guys through what a typical engine for our guys looks like. Kind of show you what we start with, uh, what it takes to build it, and then we're going to show you a little bit on the dyno and the kind of horsepower that we come up with. Um, hope you guys like this kind of stuff. I'm trying to get you a little more behind the scenes of the nuts and bolts of what we do. Um, so maybe you can start it in your area. If you guys would, please like, subscribe, follow, comment. You can follow us on Facebook, Yard Cart Nationals. You can follow me personally on Instagram at Monday Race Engines. So again, thank you guys. Hope you enjoy. Here you can see the rules for our series. Um, today we're going to be again focusing on the engine. So under engine, you can see that we run small block open clone, which is the engines we'll be talking about in this series. We allow Briggs animals. We also allow flatheads and KT100 two strokes. We do not allow billet heads or billet blocks. We do allow billet side covers. No welded deck extensions means that you cannot weld a longer deck height onto your block. We allow open fuels. Most guys in our series are on 110 gas or M1 methanol. And we do allow remote starters. This year we are making mandatory a RLV muffler on all four strokes. And that covers the rules for our engines. So this is the start of it. Um, there's obviously a couple different variations of engines that run with us. We can go as extreme as saying there's KT100s that are with us. As well as animals but for the most part guys are running these clones clone based engine which is a they call it a clone because it's a copy of a honda so this is a predator copy of a honda there's tilleton copies of hondas um there's hondas um, but for most of our guys, we use these Predators. Everybody is pretty familiar with them. And this version is a 224. Difference between this and a 212 is that it's got a 58 millimeter crank as opposed to the 55 crank that's in a 212. There's some other differences as well with this 224 um, in the design of the block. It's got more um, bracing up underneath the fin. It's kind of like a Tillotson in that area. Um, I wouldn't say it's as strong as a Tillotson block, but I would say it's stronger than a 212 block. And of course, there's no replacement for displacement, so a little extra stroke never hurt. And the, the cranks in these motors are real strong, so uh, they really seem to be the way to go. I will say 212s are more reliable. You'll get more life out of them. These 224s are good middle grounds versus a 236 Tillotson, which is a 72 millimeter bore as well on top of the 58 crank. You just get a lot of weight with that setup. And it seems like these 224s are a good middle ground for reliability and torque and stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna take this from the factory 224 non-hemi to a 224 hemi all uh, done up YK inspect MRE, the way we do it. So it's gonna get a big valve, 3225 head. In fact, I can go ahead and show you that because it's done. Went ahead and did it ahead of time. Put a lot of time into porting these. Use a lot of these Hemis and personal builds around the shop. 
I prefer the Hemi. I think they're worth a little more horsepower. From my experience, they're worth two over a non-Hemi. All right, so this is a typical layout for a YK engine. This is a 224 block, 58 millimeter stroke, billet rod, 70 millimeter bore, dyno, 275 CL camshaft. It's got a flat top piston with valve release. It's got a billet flywheel, a billet side cover, head studs. This is the 3225 MRE PH cylinder head. PH stands for Predator Hemi, which is the casting. And then it's got stainless valves, MRE spring setup, and 1.2 to 1 rockers, which gives 330 valve lift. This motor spec with a 390 carb that we're going to be putting in on a 110 gasoline tune on the dyno. But yeah, this is a typical setup. We don't try to turn them a bunch of RPM. We try to keep them under 9,000. A lot of the camshaft choices and stuff like that are tailored around reliability. They have to last guys all season. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get this thing assembled, get it prepped and ready for the dyno. All right, guys, we got the engine on the dyno now. Uh, I'll get ready to fire it for the first time. You can see I've got wide band gauge in the exhaust system read it up there we're just gonna fire it up do a little break in on it and drop the oil out of it check the lash and then we'll start doing um, air fuel pulls and putting heat in it and then once we get the air fuel about where we want it we'll check the lash one more time and then start making dyno pulls so let's get to it All right, that was just quick break in. Uh, I'm gonna drop all the oil out of it, check the lash, and I already can tell I need to go way up on jets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that all done. And then we'll continue making air fuel pulls. All right, so I'm pretty much ready to do a power pull. So I'm gonna pull the valve cover one more time, lash it and start making dyno hits. All right, that's a wrap. Just finished dynoing it. Ended up on a 40 main or 40 main jet and a 18 pilot. That's what we ended up at. Here's dyno graph. Um, it's the green line, green and dark blue, versus a similar 224 big valve. That was on a Tillotson style carb with the red and uh, light blue. So 
it's kind of curious that from what 7200 it takes a jump to 84 and really kind of hits it with about a horsepower again that's both 224 both big valve mre stuff this is all this is all mre motors um dominator carb versus a 390 390 came out on top there's the graph but yeah guys thank you this is uh again this was a video about the engines that we run i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you would please like subscribe follow the whole nine anything that helps our our logarithm and if you guys want to follow us please follow us at facebook uh yard cart nationals um, you can follow me personally at uh, monday race engines on instagram thank you guys i appreciate it